one year ago, a Sol Caritas correspondent came out to this area to talk about what a thriving urban farm would look like a year from then. We're here right now, and this is exactly what we see. There's been very little progress and a lot of time that's passed. We are here today to support the Let Us Live project. It's an urban farm project where we develop urban community gardens and food desert areas. People in this community don't have access to naturally grown fruits and vegetables or any sort of fresh produce. It's very limited. Most of the people in this community have to sh uh, shop at the gas station or the food mart and not necessarily a grocery store. And so this was a perfect location. There's a lot of activity up and down this street. And from us just coming out here and developing the land, we've got a lot of neighbors that are asking what's going on and they're really interested in um, seeing the garden come to fruition. My name is uh, Terrence Koontz. I go by TK. A lot of people know me in the city for the work that I do. Um, and I'm the founder of Community Alive. And Community Alive is all about creating programs that uh, attend to the needs of the community uh, that is set in. So this is a major thing for us to be a part of. I'm very excited to be here and I hope that I'm uh, able to work with her in the future. The advantages of having an urban farm is that you're provided with fresher foods that last longer on shelves and in refrigerators, which in turn reduces the waste in a community. The trees that you see behind me were actually cut down by Karina and a group of people that came out to clear out this entire property for the urban farm. Unless they get funding for this, nothing will happen here. So there's an urgency to get it moving because the longer it sits, the, the more we're going to have this problem of the, the illegal dumping, um, the dirt. Um, we've had uh, it, somebody that's coming over here with dump trucks mm -hmm. and dumping dirt on the property. And what they did was dump dirt directly in the ditch and it caused some flooding. Mm -hmm. So the, the money and the resources that we've already used, we're going to have to redo that. So it was just really a, a, really a waste of money because we're back at square one of removing the trees, removing the trash. And it's a disservice to the citizens, most importantly, is because now we have these overgrown trees and they have to, to look at that. Um, and so we need to get moving quickly so that we can give the citizens what we committed to do, which is access to fresh produce. So are you going to have to move lots? Because this lot is not particularly your your lot, correct? No, it's not. We don't own the lot, but we have a lease. We have a lease from another city, another city entity, mm -hmm. and they're separate. So the city funding is separate from the city, um, the Lara lot, which is what this is. Is a so they're two different entities, and they don't cross paths. So although um, Dwight Boykins is um, a city official mm -hmm. and he's allocated funding, we still had to get the lot from a different um, division of the city, which is the Lara lot, and then the funding also is from another division, which is from the city of Houston. So believe it or not, although they all are within the city, they all are separate. Um, divisions and have um, separate rules and regulations and so for the city um, to give us funding we have to offer a service and although this is a, um, a city lot and we're giving um, food and we're providing access to residents to have fresh produce it's not a city service so it, it's a lot, but we have to focus on where we're going to get $35,000 to move this project forward. We need to clear uh, the land. We need to put up a fence so that we can start growing fresh produce and providing the community with um, access to fresh produce, fruits and vegetables. The last time that Karina spoke with the city of Houston, they could not come to terms of agreement about the urban farm, which forces her to try and find funding in other places. Reporting for Sol Caritas TV, this is Robin Beltran.